Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today guys, I'm just making a bit of a bonus video. Um, it's New Year's Eve, depending on what part of the world you're in, it's already 2021. Um, so I just wanted to explain the numerology of 2021 very quickly today. So we had 2020, which if you knew me personally, um, this year is actually what inspired me to make YouTube just because I actually took in the depictions of the 22 and I noticed that a lot of the chaos that ensues around number four and 22 is actually real with days and months as well. And then so for the year of 2020, we of course had COVID in Chinese numerology, um, 22 or four would mean death. And that's what we had a lot of this year was death and a lot of casualties throughout the world. So it kind of drew me to that conclusion that like numerology is real and there's definitely real connections between numbers and sequential events that do occur. There's also another date that nobody really noticed, which was February 29th, which is International Disease Day, which I noticed before, right before COVID was actually really um, springing into the action in the United States and in Canada. So this is the stuff that made me realize that this stuff is definitely real. There's connections and people do take it seriously. It's just like how you don't have thir the 13th floor in a lot of apartment buildings or even business buildings. So numerology is not just superstition. There's vibrations around these numbers and it definitely needs to be taken seriously. Um, for 2021 though, to go on more of a positive note, we just left what we call like a death year. And a death year doesn't necessarily mean death as in like you're going to die, etc. I mean, it could mean that. But it means the death of like ideologies, the death of thought processes, the death of emotions, um, and just the ending of even some careers as we can see a lot of small businesses have been shut down. So what we get from this is that there's an ending, but there has to be a new beginning. And that's where the number five comes in with 2021. You get two plus two plus one, which equals five. So with five is represented by Mercury. Mercury is the fastest moving planet. So as we know, Mercury is good for business, good for communication. Um, it's considered the number of the Buddha as well. So it's considered enlightenment. We know we're in Aquarius age now. With all these things being said, we have the opportunity now to learn from 2020. And if you guys were smart, you would have made a foundation from 2020, meaning starting some sort of business or getting to know what you actually want to do with your life. And last year, or I should still say this year, because we're still in this year as I'm doing this, you didn't really like get the chance to manifest what you wanted, but then now you have the chance to actually get it very quickly. The number five is a, known mostly for its speed. It's known mostly for being finesse, being cunning, and being quick. So if you want to get money, you're going to be able to get it fast next year. It's naturally just going to be able, you'll be able to do that. 2020 was all about delays. Four is very slow paced, it's raw, it's random sudden events, sometimes positive, sometimes negative. There's a lot of people that did get rich this year as well, but it was mostly the rich people that were already rich just got richer through other people's demise. So now the poor people, the people that are at the bottom, are now gonna be able to now go to the top in this following year. So if you're watching this, this could easily be you. Put your mind and your emotions to the right place and you will be able to manifest what you want. The numerology behind it, five agrees with everybody's life path. So that's another thing. Um, five and six are the only numbers that really agree with everybody's life path, especially five though. Six can still have a bit of a disagreement with the three. So the five of next year, there really is neutral towards everybody. So you can use it the same way any other life path can. So if you're life path one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, or nine, or if you're a five, even better. If you're a master member, great. But what I'm saying is no matter what, you're going to be able to manifest something really special out of this year. If you just put your mind to it, manifestation is going to happen um, just extra quickly. The universe is working faster for you. So use this year to your advantage. You have 365 days to get it done. Get done what you will. And okay, guys, but tomorrow I'm going to get back to, of course, our astrology series. Um, we're going to get right back into Aries Deacon 2. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on for the new year. That's about it, guys. Please, guys, like, subscribe. I'll let me. That's it.